Hello everyone, and welcome to another official Clip Studio Paint video tutorial. In today's video, we're going to show you how to turn a completed illustration into an animation. We'll be adding movement to five parts of this illustration. The eyes, the light coming through the window, the musical notes, the rain, and the string on the blinds. Animations make it easier to create a sense of time passing and can help you flesh out the atmosphere of your piece. You're also sure to catch people's eye on social media and have them stop and spend more time looking at your piece. Here you can see how the layers are separated for this piece. The character and background are each divided into separate line art and color layers. First, let's work on animating our character's eyes so that we can make them blink. Here, we will need to separate the eyes from the rest of the face and then isolate the parts that will move from the skin tone underneath. So, bring up the layer palette and select the Character Line Art and Character Colors layers by checking both of their boxes. Now, we're going to create a selection around the eyes. Tap the Selection Pin subtool from the Selection Area tool. Using the Selection Pin allows you to draw a ring around the area you want to select with your pin. Conversely, you can tidy up and refine your selection area using the Erase Selection subtool. Now, tap the Cut and Paste button on the Selection Launcher so that we can make the two layers move together, create a new layer folder and put them in it. Rename the layer folder to A and then each layer to Eyes Line Art and Eyes Whites, respectively. Then move layer folder A one place above the Character Line Art layer. Now, if you hide the A folder, you'll see a blank space where the eyes were on the Character Colors layer. Let's fill in the blank space on the Character Colors layer so it doesn't look weird when the character blinks. Use the Pick Color from Layer subtool under the Eyedropper tool to select the skin color, and then paint over the blank space with the brush of your choice. We've now laid down our foundation and can move on to animating the eyes. Let's go ahead and set up our animation workspace so we can add movement to our illustration. From the Window menu, tap Timeline to show the Timeline palette. Then, tap New Timeline. For this piece, we will be creating a 3-second animation. The frame rate is the number of images shown per second to create the illusion of movement in an animation. So, to make our animation last 3 seconds, in this dialog box, set the frame rate to 8 FPS and the playback time to 24 frames. You've now successfully set up your timeline palette. Next up, let's put the layers we want to animate into the animation folder. Layers placed in the animation folder are treated as cells, the building blocks of an animation. Tap the New Animation Folder button on the timeline. Rename the animation folder you just created to Blink and move it directly below the Light from Window layer. The A layer folder is now in the Blink animation folder. Now, let's draw each of the changes in state for the eyes, necessary for conveying movement in our animation. In layer folder A, we will add the pair of open eyes, in B, eyes that are closed halfway, and in C, a pair of completely closed eyes. With these three illustrations, we can create the illusion of a pair of blinking eyes. By tapping the zoom in button on the timeline palette, you can increase the width of the frame to make it easier to manipulate. Let's create cells B and C. Now, with frame 2 selected, double tap the new animation cell button. This creates the B and C animation cells with the same layer structure as A. Next, 
Check that the Enable Onion Skin option on the Timeline palette is turned on. When Onion Skin is enabled, the cells directly before and after the currently selected cell on the timeline will be faintly visible to serve as a guide when you draw. You can also change the settings so that the two cells on either side of the currently selected cell are displayed. From the Animation menu, go to Show Animation Cells and select Onion Skin Settings. Here, we will change the number of skins for both the previous and next frame to 2. So now, when we're working on cell C, cell A will also appear on the canvas for us to reference. Go ahead and draw the closed eye of cell C on the eye's line art layer while using the onion skin reference of the open eye in cell A. Then, let's draw the stage between the opened and closed eyes in animation cell B. Bring up the onion skin display and draw the in-between stage using the A and C cells as a reference. So that the half-closed eyelids follow the shape of the character's eyeball, we will draw a dimensional eye line on the eye's line art layer. Then, using the line art as reference, do the same in cell B. Select the same color as you did in animation cell A for the whites of the eyes and color them in here too. With this, the three cells we need for our animation are now complete. Now, let's adjust the timing of the blink in the timeline palette. Assign the cells to the blink track in the order A, C, B, A. Notice how there is no in-between stage when the eyes close. The in-between cell is only used for when they open again. By making the eyes close quicker like this, you get a more natural blinking motion. Tap Play Stop on the Timeline Palette and let's see how it looks. And there you have it! Your first animation is complete! Now why don't we add some movement to the light from the window by varying the opacity. Select the Light from Window track on the Timeline Palette and turn on Enable Keyframes on this layer. Next, select Frame 1 and then the Object Subtool. You can set up the keyframe by changing its position size, and opacity using the Object Subtool. In the Subtool Property palette of the Object Subtool, check the box to the right of the Layer Opacity category to add a keyframe to the currently selected frame. With Frame 1 selected, set the Layer Opacity to 35. Then, in the same way, set the Layer Opacity of Frame 5 to 15 and Frame 8 to 35. This will produce a gentle brightening and dimming effect for the light coming from the window of our animation. So you can see the opacity of the keyframes on the Timeline Palette, click the plus button on the left-hand side of the track name to expand. A diamond icon will appear on the Timeline Palette to indicate the keyframes. Let's make it so that the brightening and dimming effect repeats every 3 seconds. Drag all the keyframes on the Light from Window track on the Timeline Palette to select them. Next, long press the selected keyframes with your finger and select Copy. Then, with Frame 9 selected, long press with your finger again and select Paste. Similarly, select Frame 17 and Paste again. Repeat this until you get to Frame 24, so that the animation loops three full times. Tap Play Stop on the Timeline Palette to check how it looks. And would you look at that! You now have a relaxing light animation coming from the window. Next, let's add an effect to the musical notes around the character to enhance the atmosphere of the piece with her music. We have created a Musical Note animation folder to get us started. Select Frame 1 and tap New Animation Cell. Rename the layer name to A. For this animation, we downloaded the hand-drawn note brush from Clip Studio Assets. Check out the description for the link to any materials used in this video. We are using a magenta color with this brush to draw the musical notes around the girl's face. Next, select Frame 7 and tap New Animation Cell. 
draw some more musical notes in animation cell B. Copy the cells so that they repeat twice in three seconds. First, select frames 1 and 7 by dragging and then copy them. Then, select frame 13 and paste the frames here. Now our musical note animation is complete. For the rain, we animated it by creating two different cells, which repeat every five frames. We also added movement to the blind strings by rotating them with the object subtool so that they sway left to right. And that's it for your first animation! Let's go and export it now. Since animated GIFs can only reproduce up to 256 colors to properly capture all the levels of light and dark in your animation, it's best to export it as a movie file. To do this, from the File menu, go to Export Animation and select Movie. For the file format, let's go with an MP4 file so it's easy to use on social media. In the Movie Export Settings dialog, set the frame rate to 8 FPS. By matching the movie export frame rate to the one used in your timeline, you can make sure that the movements in the final movie will be the same as those you previewed when you were animating. As you can see, even if you're not an animation expert, you can easily try your hand at animation and breathe new life into your everyday illustration work. Don't forget to share your animations on social media once you're done. Clip Studio Paint.